Hi guys, the next Coolify service that we're going to be self-hosting is called Outline. And it's an open source collaboration tool similar to Notion or Docmost. Once we self-host it, it will look like this. You'll be able to create new documents and collections for those documents. You'll also be able to invite people to your workspace as well. So with that, let me show you how to self-host it. We're first going to go into Coolify. And in the Projects tab, we're going to hit the Add button. We're going to call the project Outline. Select the production environment. Click on Add a new resource. And here, search for Outline. You'll see Get Outline there. It's the same thing. Select the server. And now we are not quite ready to deploy. There's a few things that we need to fix. So at the time of this video, there's a few things that you need to do before you actually deploy. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. The first thing is that we're going to need a way to log in. So as you can see here, there's a GitHub configuration, a Google configuration, and also OIDC. The one we're going to use is actually going to be OIDC. We're going to use GitLab more specifically. If you don't have a GitLab account, you can create one. It's free. And uh, I'll show you the documentation in case you wanted to choose a different one. So the reason why I chose GitLab, and here we're in the documentation, docs.getoutline.com, and um, is because I didn't actually see GitHub on here, so I didn't want to make it difficult for myself. But you can go ahead and try with GitHub. So with GitLab, though, um, I'll show you every single step. So the first thing we're going to need to do is visit this URL here, gitlab.com slash OAuth slash applications. And if you have an account, you'll be prompt, you'll be redirected directly here. And as you can see here, I've actually already tested this out before, but uh, I'll do this again right now. And so the first thing you're going to do is add a new application. So I'm going to call it get outline to tutorial to not conflict with my previous one. The redirect URI is important. So you're going to want to include the service URL. So let's go back to the service stack first. And then in here, you're going to click this icon to edit the URL. Copy this without the port. And then you're going to go back here, paste it. And then you're going to add slash auth slash OIDC dot callback. And this is important, otherwise it won't work. And so now for the permissions, we're going to ask for open ID, profile and email, and then hit save application. And here we're going to get our application ID and our secret, which we will copy now to use. So the first thing is we're going to copy the application ID, go back into our Coolify tab and then in the environment variables. I'm actually going to switch the developer view because it's going to be easier to paste in information. So here for the client ID, I'm going to add in the application ID. And then for the client secret, I'm going to copy the secret that's right here and paste that right here. For the display name, I'm going to write GitLab. For the scopes, we're going to write an open ID, profile and email with a space after each. The auth URI is going to be this one, GitLab OAuth authorize. If you were self-hosting GitLab, then you would use your self-hosted GitLab instance, but we're going to be using GitLab.com. The logout URL is this one, GitLab.com OAuth slash logout. Our token URI is this one. Our user info, info URI is going to be this one. And for the username claim, I'm just going to type in username. So theoretically, we've got all the information that we need now for it to work. So I'm going to save the environment variables, first of all, and just double check the callback URI is correctly set. So right here, and then we're going to hit continue. So now I've added the GitLab application. But before we deploy, there's actually one more thing that we need to fix. So we're going to go into the service stack tab here and then hit edit compose file. This secret key needs to be a certain format. So if we were to deploy this, we would actually get a range error here because the length is not what is expected. And so right here, we have the secret key. And uh, it, as you can see here, it says it should be a 32-byte random key. 
And more importantly, there's this command that we can run to get a key of a correct format. And just to show you why this is different, so this is the environment variable that it's going to use, service base 64 outline. So if we go into the environment variables tab, and uh, we're going to find the outline here. This is it, the service base 64 outline. This is the key that is uh, generated using the Coolify environment variable. But the one that we're going to create will be slightly different. So we're, I'm just going to go into the terminal and run the command that I copied from the sample environment variable file. So right here you can immediately see that it's much longer. So I'm going to copy that, paste that here, hit save all environment variables, and now we're ready to deploy. So go ahead and do that now, hit the deploy button. So our outline container has started. I'm going to close this window. So right here you can see it says running unhealthy and that's because there is no health check for it. As you can see here health check has been disabled. So we can ignore that. Let's just visit the URL. And now if you've correctly set up the environment variables you will get this screen to authorize the app that we've, we're trying to run. And this way we'll be able to sign in using our GitLab app. And there we go, we are in outline and it works as expected. So if you have encountered an error along the way, it's probably because you haven't done the steps correctly or something has changed. But uh, hopefully it should be all good once the secret key has been amended and we've added a login method. So that's going to be it for this video. We have successfully self-hosted outline. I will see you in the next one.